Hi guys, Jessica here. I wanted to do a review on Lois Duncan's Daughters of Eve. And before I get into this, um, I want to tell you some things that you may not have known about Lois Duncan. Um, she's best known for her suspense novels. This book was actually written in 1979 and all of her books have been recently reprinted with new covers. Um, they're very suspenseful. She wrote the book, I Know What You Did Last Summer, which became the movie, the 1997 movie. She also wrote the book Hotel for Dogs, which also became a movie, I believe, when was that? A couple years ago with Emma Watson, or Emma Roberts, I mean. And she also is known for other sus um, suspense novels, including... Um, one of her daughters was killed and she wrote a book about it and trying to figure out who killed her daughter, which is really sad. She's just written so many books. Um, I'm going to be trying to get my hands on many others because I really soared through this book. She writes phenomenally. Um, she's probably one of the biggest precursors to modern, um, young adult fiction um you know her and judy bloom and such but lois more so because she really masters being able to develop a lot of characters and i wouldn't be surprised if she was um a uh, like a mentor to sarah shepherd and such because she has a lot of characters and she fully develops them in this book at the beginning there are reviews from melinda lowe rl stein judy bloom Sarah Shepard. Oh, and she actually did say it was one of my biggest inspirations. See, I told you. <laughs> um, Jenny Han, who wrote The Summer I Turned Pretty. Uh, Suzanne Young. Just tons of different people reviewed this. I soared through this book in less than a day, and I had a busy day. I started at like a Thursday night, and I finished like 40 pages or 50 pages before bed. And then the next day and night, I finished the rest. It's about almost 300 pages. It has like 10 different main characters. Um, it tells the story of a secret society or sisterhood in high school called the Daughters of Eve. And all these different girls, and they initiate new girls, and all their backstories, what's going on with their families, and they all have a different uh, struggle. And it has a lot of feminism um, context in it because it was the late 70s and there was still a really strong feeling uh, that women should be in the home and, you know, they shouldn't have careers and they shouldn't, you know, think for themselves and such. So this book kind of really explores that and probably for that time it probably was the first to challenge those thoughts. Um for teenage girls, which is really inspirational in itself. I definitely advise everyone to take time to read this book, Daughters of Eve. Um, it is creepy and dark in certain spots. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought, maybe because I'm just used to reading books like this, but it is serious and it does make you think and it, it kind of makes you feel for some of the characters. You kind of feel like you're their friend. Um, I don't know. So it says all for one and revenge for all. Uh, so definitely, definitely check this out. Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. <laughs> um, it was phenomenal. So I'll talk to you soon. Happy reading. Bye.